What's up guys? Ain't here in the garage. Um, yeah, we actually have a two car garage here at the house. As you can see, we have the one garage door and a garage door opener. So that's good. Then as you can see on the other side, we're kind of missing something. No garage door opener. <laughs> Bad. So my wife was nice enough to Buy me a garage door opener. What? Good. So we're going to install that today. What? First we're going to open up this box. Let's see what's inside. Inside the book that I wrote are all the words that we spoke Yet only with our eyes Now is the time to choose Somebody wins and some lose I can see through your disguise I got the rail assembled And the, tro and the trolley thing, whatever the freak you want to call it uh, Assembled that was really easy, just kind of snapped together. Now on to uh, assembling the rail portion for the uh, the motor. Still step two. Last part of step two is to install this chain splitter. Bracket right up there, and that's what I'm gonna do right now. So, step three of installation. is to install this end of the rail to the header bracket that I just installed and then set the motor on the set of one of these chairs. Let's go ahead and get that done. I'm actually gonna hang 
the same railing that's over on this one, I'm gonna do it right over here and get that uh, installed and I'll be right back. Uh, ran into a few more hiccups. Um, nothing too serious though. If you actually look right up there, you can see my holes that I made. Right in the middle of that is a beam that goes from to the front of the garage all the way to the back of the garage. And what sucks is, since these run front to back instead of side to side, I have two feet on the other side all the way to the other beam and two feet all the way to the other beam. And that is basically the center of where the motor goes. So I got to put in some support uh, braces going across, some two by fours that going across this way from this beam to the next beam and from this center beam to the other beam and which is what I'm cutting right now uh, to length and then I'll be able to put in my holes and uh, mount it uh, into two by fours where my fingers are at. So mount them up and then I also got to put in another outlet because I don't have like there's one over there but there's not one over there and I don't want to run the extension cord all the way over to that plug because that would just look tacky. So I'm just going to do the, uh, put an outlet in over here and uh, I'm going to do all that up in the attic. So I'm not going to take this with me. So wish me luck. <laughs> Electrical stuff. It's dangerous. All right, getting closer. As you can see, I got the box in and the wire. I got to wire the, uh, I got to wire that wire into that plug so I can send power over to that plug and that's where I'm at right now so I'm gonna go ahead and finish that and then I'll be right back uh, as you can see I'm about to show you I got the plug in all wired up plug on this side that wasn't there before those two holes mapped my center line of my stud and centered on those holes are my two beams that I put in up on the attic so that I can mount on one of these brackets to it. Plug back hooked up. I'm about to turn the power on. All right. Everything looks good. Alrighty then. I'm gonna go ahead and get that bracket up and then um, I'll get that bracket back in. Back in. I got the bracket up. <coughs> so now I'm gonna lift this up uh, to the bracket and uh, get it hung up. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Alright, got the bracket cut. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, as you can see, I got the bracket cut. I might need to cut it again because those actually look shorter on that one over there. So. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get them mounted onto here loosely and up to there loosely and uh, see if we need to trim it down some. trimmed and um, so as you can see I trimmed them down to even shorter these actually match the length of the ones over there so now I'm gonna lift it back up and see if I can't get it straight and line everything up
top of the door here. All right, up oh, there were those two holes, all right? The two horizontal, uh, vertical holes. I'm gonna go ahead and install this. Chamberlain didn't want to originally supply these bolts uh, for that. So I ended up, the top bolts I mean, and those are actually supposed to be used for down here to go up to this bar up here, but Chamberlain was nice enough not to supply them. Linkage all hooked up to control arm. The next step says to wire in. The one for the new garage door opener that I'm opening, that I'm putting in, I'm just gonna put it right here. And then run the wire up and over to it. Um, that's the next step, so that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then uh, I'll be right back and show you what I did. All right, so I got the uh, switch wired in. Going along with that one, and then straight over to this one. And it's hooked up right now. I am wiring in uh, this the laser sensors, you know, for when uh, you trip it, it kicks the door back up so nothing gets crushed. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing right now. the um, sensors wired in oh, almost done and my camera's dying I'm just gonna wire those in and plug it in and that should be it Let's see how it goes supposed to so I'm gonna figure that out and I'll be back all right I uh, figured out what it was I had to program it it's programmed now and now it works it's no white Garage door opener. Now we have two. Two garage door openers. Yes. <laughs> Took all freaking day, but I got it done and it works and it turned out pretty good. So I'm happy with the finished product and now I can pull Snow White into the garage without having to worry about getting out and coming inside to the main door, front door, opening the garage, then pulling the car through, closing the door, all that crap. So. Yeah, I was parking her outside, now I can park her inside. 
and this mess will get cleaned up and it should be pulled in tonight. And that is what it's all about. That is freaking awesome. Well, that's all I have for today. Hopefully this video was fun to watch or even information, you know, is good, uh, good information for you. If you liked it, then like the video. If you want to subscribe, then subscribe right down below. You guys know which buttons to click. Y'all have a good one. Enjoy what's left of the weekend and peace out.